There were the Chinese spy balloons, and now there are these Chinese spy cranes. The Wall Street Journal is comparing them to Trojan horses in use at 80 percent of U.S. ports. So on on the cranes, don't have to I don't have any comment on that specific reporting. I would refer you to the Department of Transportation uh, and the Department of Defense, who've been uh, tasked with Congress to study uh, this particular issue. And if this is a Department of Transportation lead. Does Secretary Buttigieg have experience it's a, with it's, it's not just the, it's not just the Department of Transportation, it's also the Department of Defense. That was White House Press Secretary Karine Jean Pierre yesterday deferring to the Department of Transportation about a report that shipping cranes made in China are being used for spying uh, at, at ports in America. 80% of the ports is what Peter Ducey just said. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, however, is focusing on pressing airlines to cut junk fees. He tweeted that he is, quote, getting results. Joining me now is New Jersey Congressman, member of the House Judiciary, Transportation and Infrastructure Committees. Jeff Van Drew is here this morning. Congressman, it's good to see you. Uh, what do you it's make of these cranes, you. first of all, um, that are spying at ports? Another dangerous surveillance tool from communist China, and they're putting Pete Buttigieg in charge. Well, China's having its way with us. I mean, this is just one more sign of weakness. You know, Maria, you and I spoke about when this administration started, and I said, you said, what's the one word? It's weakness. We have a weak president, a weak administration, a weak secretary here in transportation who doesn't have any idea what he's doing and really doesn't care. I mean, half the time he's away on trips enjoying himself when some of the most serious and important issues are going on. It is shameful. So China is having its way with us, whether it's literally we're spending, you know, we're shooting half million dollar missiles to shoot down kids' science experiments. But meanwhile, we let a spy balloon go across some of the most sensitive areas in the nation, across the nation, before we do anything at all. I mean, that's just an example uh, what they're doing with intellectual property. Again, we've talked about intellectual property and the fact that it's being stolen by China. It still is. Nothing really, in my mind, has been done about it, and it needs to be done. China respects strength, and they know yeah. that we don't have that strength at this point in time, and it's shameful. Well, it just feels, I mean, the Wall Street Journal is reporting about these, uh, you know, these cranes at ports. It just feels like this surveillance program from Communist China is very much embedded in America in all sorts of places. I mean, you've You're got right. the spy balloon, obviously. But now, you know, with these construction uh, cranes that are made in China, why would the U.S. be using Chinese-made construction cranes at our ports? They shouldn't be. I mean, the number one goal that we should have right now, and I don't mean to be repetitive, but is to make the U.S. strong. We should produce. We should manufacture. We should make. We can do all this. We have. We're the inventor of all this. I mean, look what China's even doing, buying American farms that are located in close proximity to very sensitive sites, military sites. Again, the same thing. I mean, the level of stupidity and incompetence in this administration is just breathtaking, and it has to stop or we're going to lose our country. I mean, this is no yeah. joke. They're playing for real. Yep. Uh, John Levine, jump in here. Let me just read you what the journal is reporting, John. U.S. officials are growing concerned that giant Chinese-made cranes operating at American ports across the country, including at several used by the military, could give Beijing a possible spying tool hiding in plain sight. These, has, these have been in place, John. Right. No, I, it's certainly, certainly very disturbing. And I would believe it. So I, my question for the congressman would be, you know, it's so important that the China threat be handled in a bipartisan way and that Democrats and Republicans really see eye to eye on the nature of the threat. And I know you used to be a Democrat before becoming a Republican in 2019. Do your, do your colleagues on the other side of the aisle understand the nature of the threat? Do you think they get it in Congress? Do you still have relations there? Do you think this is an issue that can be bipartisan? Uh, I think to some degree it can be bipartisan, and I always look for bipartisanship when you can find it. It's been very difficult. This new Democratic Party is not the same as the Democratic Party of old, and there are real relationships. For example, I don't understand why Biden allows all this to happen. 
Uh, is it his past relationships with China and his financial relationships, including his son with China, or is it just mere stupidity and weakness? It's very hard to determine what it is, but whatever it is, it really needs to stop. And I would hope that our Democratic friends see that. Um, I would think that we, uh, to be honest with you, the Republicans are stronger on it. And I think, you know, we certainly will, are glad to and want to work with Democrats, but we can't wait for them. We've got well, to get I mean, in there. We've got the yeah. majority. We've got to get a job done here. Let me just say that the concern is, is that China could capture information about material being shipped in or out of the country to support U.S. military operations around the world. In other words, they could see if we're sending uh, uh, equipment to Taiwan or anywhere else. The cranes could also provide remote access for somebody looking to disrupt the flow of goods. It, it, they're calling it the new Huawei, and uh, the Chinese are coming back saying that uh, the U.S. is paranoid-driven. But there's another issue going on right in front of our faces, Congressman. 23 rioters charged with domestic terrorism after allegedly attacking a police training center in Atlanta. 21 of the suspects are not even from Georgia. One person, a Southern Poverty Law Center lawyer. The White House says that they weren't even aware of the attack until Monday. And then, of course, we all know what has taken place in Mexico. Four Americans kidnapped. Uh, we're waiting for some answers, but it just underlines the threat that the United States faces from the dangerous drug cartels as well in Mexico. Absolutely. Look, I was just in Yuma, Arizona, as you know, a couple of weeks ago uh, with the Judiciary Committee. There were some of us that went. And they are so arrogant, the drug cartels, that as we were driving up and down along the wall, inspecting what remains of the wall, and inspecting the area and watching the horrible things that are going on, they were doing U-turns in front of us, going in and out, passing us, laughing at us. This was the drug cartel, and these were official vehicles that we were in, Congress people and others in law enforcement. That's what they think. Again, if you don't yeah. show strength, you're going to be weak. All right. All right. Real quick before you go, Congressman, I want to get your take on what's going on with whales. Since early December, 23 whales at a minimum have washed up on the East Coast. At least 12 of those whales washed ashore in New Jersey and in New York alone. New Jersey is requesting more offshore wind project proposals, claiming that there are no connections between these depths and the wind farms, Congressman. But we had an expert on yesterday. She said the only thing that has changed in the water are these huge wind turbines. So where are all of the climate change agenda pushers, uh, pushers of wind technology, if, in fact, these, the, these wind turbines are killing our whales, uh, as has been suggested? We don't know for sure if, if that's the if reason. If anything else was killing whales like this, they'd be going crazy, and they should. These are beautiful, beautiful animals. What's happening, this is my home. I really know this area. I grew up here. And this is the biggest, baddest thing I've ever seen happen. It has to do with a lot of money, foreign power, billionaires around the world. The, our energy is going to be controlled by other countries. It's going to hurt tourism, which is our greatest industry. It's going to hurt fishing. It's going to hurt the environment. This is bad, and we've got to yeah. fight it, and I'm going to be fighting it with everything I've got. We're having a hearing in district within a couple of weeks. All right, we'll be watching that. Uh, and of course, there's the, the, the whales, the death of the whales. Congressman, thanks very much for being here. Thank Jeff you. Jeff Andrew will be watching your work.